But right, guys, my name is Bowie, and today I'm bringing you some Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Yes, this is a new game for me because this is the first time I've owned it. So let's try to get ourselves into a game that's no fucking hacked. I don't know if these are set right, but fuck it. Snap, right? Right. Uh, we're no fucking jump about mental, so it's a decent pill. Just back from a holiday. I really enjoyed it. Obviously, I'm really going to enjoy my holiday. I'm a bit silly not to enjoy it. Obviously I'm gonna enjoy my holiday, it's a bit stupid not to enjoy it. But all my time there, I bought this game and I bought myself Call of Duty World at War, which now gives me every single Call of Duty that is out for the PS3 and PS4, which is a decent pull in my opinion. I actually get the two games for like fucking six quid. I'm surprised at that because up until fucking Black Ops 2, this game was still fucking 30 odd quid, which is weird. I've never played this map in the time I've played it. I've played this game a couple of times and then like my fucking second game, I ended up getting bashed up and fucking hacked and put into like fucking some prestige. A video a lot of people have actually been linking is been my Pokemon ones. I've had a lot of comments to my face saying that they're good. So we are going to continue doing that. So I'm fucking playing on instinct here. By that I mean I'm just going to fucking run about until sequence. They kill me and then I start moaning about it. It's kind of the usual on this channel. I wasn't even like a big Call of Duty 4 player. I really came into it when it was like Black Ops 1. Modern Warfare 2 I played, but Black Ops 1 was probably my favourite Call of Duty. I did play a bit of World at War, but I never owned it. I'm going to go again without getting a fucking kill in her. I guess he was doing fucking brilliant earlier on. 